All right, let's pick an example. Let's say I wanted to run a seminar in Atlanta. Let's say I want to do a social media seminar in Atlanta and I know nothing about Atlanta. What am I going to do? I could go to the library, get the yellow pages, brr, 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 on the phone, okay? What's the better thing? Find out who I know in Atlanta, or who my friends know in Atlanta. So what do I do? I go to LinkedIn, and under search people, I'm going to look up Atlanta. Now, what am I going to need if I'm going to have a meeting in Atlanta? I'm going to need a hotel. I'm going to need convention space. I'm going to need a room. I'm going to need to book rooms for people there. I'm going to need a place for them to eat. I'm going to need bands. I'm going to need limousines. I'm going to need all sorts of things, right? Where do I start? I start with LinkedIn, and let's say I start with hotels. I got big dreams. I start with hotels. So what do I do? I go to LinkedIn. In the upper right-hand corner, I look up Atlanta hotels. Fortunately, there is nobody on LinkedIn named Atlanta hotels, because otherwise that would be awkward. But I'm guessing somebody who works in an Atlanta hotel or who is in Atlanta or something has those two words in their profile. And do you think that person that works with hotels in Atlanta has that in their profile? I would think so. So I click search. What happens? 2,000 results. That's a lot of people. Now, on the right-hand side, I could narrow it down if I wanted, but right on top there's someone named Jessica Shrimple. Is she here? All right, just curious, because anything's, anything's possible. Jessica Shrimple, Senior Group Sales Manager at the W Hotel. Would that be a good person to call? Maybe. And by the way, I can click on one shared connection and see the friend that knows her. So I could say, hey, do you know Jessica Shrimple? Could you tell her I need information and could she be helpful to me? Yeah. But watch this. Under the results, it says relevance. LinkedIn thinks that she is the most relevant result. But I change it to relationship. Elkie Kosher, is she here? CMP. I probably met her at the uh, February conference. Um, senior project manager at Imidex. I don't even know what they do. But she does event services. Do you think she knows Atlanta? I'm guessing pretty well. But look at number two. Can you read number two? I love Ann Marrow. Ann Marrow, professional headline, the best person to plan your meetings and events. Wow, that's awesome. I'm not only going to find the best person in Atlanta, I'm going to find the best person anywhere. Why? That's not her title. That doesn't show up on her business card. You think I'm going to make a call to her? You bet. You think business gets done this way on LinkedIn? It could. This could be you. Make sure the right words are in your profile. Make sure that your marketing, market, that, I'm sorry, make sure that your professional headline doesn't say marketing professional. It doesn't say meeting professional. It doesn't say hotel salesperson. Make it a sexy 10 to 12 word speech about yourself. This, I think, is a great one. Okay, I want you to take two minutes. We only have about 25 left. Take two minutes, talk to one person beside you, and give them, that may take three minutes, give them your new professional headline. We're going to get to professional headlines in the next couple slides, but I want you to think of something like the best person to plan your meetings and events.